Well, hey guys, good morning. Sorry for the roughness. I uh, haven't gotten ready yet, but I have to get this message out because he gave it to me yesterday, um, April 6, 2023, around 4 o'clock p.m. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the message, but first ignore the Telegram and the um, WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam people. And also, um, I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and he came to earth as a man in the flesh and he died for us on the cross, he shed his blood, and he rose on the third day. Okay. April 6, 2023, Colossians 3:7. in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. 1 Peter 2, 7, therefore to you who believe he is precious, but to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. 1 Timothy 2:3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Jeremiah 2.12 Be astonished, O heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, says the Lord. Ezekiel 38.6 Gomer and all its troops, the house of Togermah from the, the far north and all its troops, many people are with you. 1 Thessalonians 3.7 Therefore, brethren, in all our affliction and distress, we were comforted concerning you by your faith. Here's the message. My child, aircrafts, aircrafts are coming. Missiles will be their first mission, destroying the oil, destroying the farms. Indiana supply will be shut down. Montana will experience financial loss. No more stock, no more supply, food will be limited. They are getting ready to conquer. I told you there would be changes in power, it's coming. It's almost over, my child. You will be entering in a new world and a new system. My heart is so sad for the lost. I love my children so much. Why won't you listen? Why won't you wake up and come to me? Disasters are going to fall. The world will be in ruins. I gave you a free gift of salvation. I died on the cross for you. I took away your sins. My father sent me to save the world, not to condemn it. And anyone that speaketh my name and declare me Lord shall be saved. Jeremiah 1 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Children, all you have to do is believe in me and confess with your mouth, I am Lord. Give me your heart, child, and I will save you. I am pouring my spirit out on all flesh, trying to warn you what's coming, but you won't listen, you won't repent, and you won't believe in me. You are going to perish because of your lack of knowledge. I sent my prophets, I sent my dreamers, I sent my visionaries to warn you. I gave my people words of knowledge and put it on my children's hearts to share my truth and share my love for my children. Why are you so consumed with this world? It's going to perish, and you will go along with it if you don't wake up. The scroll has been passed to me, and time is almost up. Unfortunately, most of you will have to suffer the consequences of not believing in me. My persecution and wrath will fall upon you. Your hearts are stubborn. I gave you free will, and you deny me. Oh, the sword I have coming for those who scoff at their neighbors and continue to invite destruction in their paths. You have chosen your master. You can't love me and the world. It's time to choose, children. Bow down and worship your own, your one true God, Yahshua Amashiach, your savior, your friend, your rescuer and deliverer. I have spoken. Exodus 14.3, for Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land. The wilderness has closed them in. Exodus 25.6, oil for the light and spices for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense. Philippians 3.2, beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the mutilation. Jeremiah 1.5, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you before you were born. I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Revelation 16.3, then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea and it became blood as of a dead man and every living creature in the sea died. Matthew 24, 9, then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Matthew 13, 5, some fell on stony places where they did not have much earth and they immediately sprang up because they have no, had no depth of earth. Ezra 2, 3, the people of Parash 2,172, John 9, 6, we had said these things. He spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. 1 Corinthians 3, 9, for we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. Job 4, 5, but now it comes upon you, and you are weary. It touches you, and you are troubled. <clears throat> okay, guys, that was it. That was the message. Um, he gave it to me yesterday, but I didn't, I didn't get the go-ahead. 
yet. So I kind of waited and just waited on the Lord and I felt his urgency this morning. He came over me very strong yesterday and he poured his heart out. Um, and you know, it made me cry because I, I felt, I felt the love for his kids and, and how a lot are just not believing and, and they're going to perish because of it. And I don't want to see that happen, guys. I don't want to see anyone perish. So just please believe in him. Ask him to come into your life. Confess your sins. Give him your heart and he'll save you. Okay, guys, have a blessed day.